Hi friends, here in this video, I'll be explaining the optical comparator. So let's get started. Now, when we talk about optical comparator, the basic difference between optical and other types of comparators is that it uses a source of light at the same time. Optical comparators are sensitive, they are delicate and they are costly when we compare it with compare them with the mechanical comparators. So how this functions is that there is a basic principle that for example if we have in an exactly flat surface and over that from a light source the source of light when the light is incident on this flat surface at an angle of alpha then the surface being flat the light would be deflected at the same angle alpha it means at the angle by which it is incident on the surface by the same angle it returns back and it means that the surface is perfectly flat but if the surface is not flat, that is if it is tilted, I'll just show an example that if the surface is tilted, I'm showing it over here that if it is inclined, then the light which is incident on this surface at an angle of alpha, it will move away or it will be reflected at twice the angle which is called as 2 alpha so from the source if the light is striking this surface at an angle of alpha then it reflects back at an angle of 2 alpha so that is the principle which we are using for optical comparators to check whether the surface is perfectly flat or not as given in this example here the diagram which we are having it is also called as the Zeiss ultra optimeter which is a kind of optical comparator and the various parts in it are first of all there is a plunger which is kept in contact with the job or the workpiece which we are seeing here the plunger is in contact with the workpiece then to this plunger there is a movable mir mirror which is connected as we can see here there is a movable mirror now this mirror can move along the horizontal direction at the same time the mirror can move in the vertical direction depending upon the deflections which the plunger is sensing then just parallel to the movable mirror is the fixed mirror movable mirror is denoted by m1 fixed mirror is denoted by m2 then there is a light source through this light source the light is impinged the light is impinged passing through the condenser graticule and lens where this light gets focused it is filtered and then it is impinged onto the movable mirror and then the light would be reflected finally and it goes to the other lens and the, here there is a scale which is the illuminated scale that is this scale would show the reading only when the light falls on the scale and here there is an eyepiece from which the observer can take the reading so how it functions basically is that if the surface which we are testing as i have shown here if it is perfectly flat then whatever the light is passing or it is incident onto the movable mirror the surface being perfectly flat there is no movement of the plunger so the light would be reflected from mirror 1 it goes to mirror 2 then from mirror 2 it again passes to the movable mirror and then it goes to the lens and here we can see that if we are keeping more than one mirror it means that is the way of magnifying the reading that is whatever small amount of reading which we are getting that reading gets magnified with the help of number of mirrors because in case of optical 
comparator or optical instruments the method through which we can amplify the reading is by providing mirrors lenses etc so when it is a flat surface the light would be incident and reflected at the same angle and we are going to get the reading on the scale as zero it means the surface is perfectly flat but if the surface is inclined like i have shown here the light which is incident would be at an angle of alpha the surface being rough or it is tilted then this mirror m1 would be tilted and then the light would be reflected back at an angle of 2 alpha again it comes onto this movable mirror and gets reflected towards the observer at an angle of 2 alpha and the illuminated scale will glow and the observer can just check if the reading is zero or if it is moving away that is if it is away from zero it means the surface is tilted so basically optical comparators are used to check whether the surface is perfectly flat or not at the same time as i have explained in order to magnify the reading that is to pick up very small amount of displacement we can have number of mirrors over here which acts as the magnification in case of optical comparators the instrument is quite sensitive at the same time it is costly when we compare it with mechanical comparators at the end if you all find my videos helpful you all can like share comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends thanks for watching